oops, kind of went with the grain there. And almost lost a hunk that I probably shouldn't have had taken off. And again, we're just blocking this out. Just I'll just take the knife marks off there just to keep things rolling in here. And that's about as far as I want to go on that. Okay, I want to continue up the... No, I'm going to round this out a bit here. Now, what we want to do... I think I may have... I hope I didn't screw it up already. No, not that much is that the elbow is is about here, which is actually the farthest out. Same with here, is the farthest out. So in other words, so well since he's at an angle, this is going to go straight up. We'll just kind of clean the, clean the wood there. But his arm is going this way. So there's the focal point, here's the hand, and it should match. That's the best way to put it. And we'll do more shaping. I'll just for now just put a little elbow corner in there just to and then let's just I think we're going to have to, we'll be shaping this up a little more. I'm going to leave that alone for now. A little bit of cleanup. Because I'm going to start rounding out the ghost a little bit here. And it depends on how thin we want him. Like I said, I'm just going to take the we're just getting started. I'm just take the the saw marks off for now and then decide later. I want the hair that little what do you call it, that little thing. What do you call that? Go in the back. Kind of go. So you kind of have a more of a curly cue instead of on the side. His head's going to be out here, so it's going to kind of go like this. Kind of a thing. Just a little bit. There'll be more shaping later. Because that has to be in the back of the head. Now I like to, um, when I start doing a cutout, Moving the rough out is sometimes I like to take the big chisel. You've seen me do that on other videos. I think uh, I, uh, I'll probably do it on the pumpkin here, but usually it's going to be a little bigger than this. Cut out, that is. Body to twist towards the head. This kind of an angle from the back. Making sure that I am 
in the camera range. And like I said, this from this elbow here, or shoulder here, we just want to put a dent in it. Not only because we don't want it sharp, but it does kind of come straight down. Sort of like that. Here, maybe I need to do a stopper here for you to take a look and see what I got so far. I'll do that, clean that up a little next clean that up a little next. But see, it's still kind of hacky. Let's just clean that up. Now, like I said, this is the difficult part. Now, first let me get rid of that. Let me erase that first. And the elbow is going to be right here. Because I think what I did wrong is I didn't give him as much. Because I'll probably take some of this arm out. Whereas, well, that's because then the elbow, since the elbow's down here, then the elbow should be able to go up here. So we're still, we're still okay. Yeah, we're still good. I mean, it's a ghost. It's not perfect human form. Um, We can get to a point of rounding that, and of course you can use a chisel. And when you round it, make sure you do the slice. And I'm going to leave the, the arm coming straight out this way. I'm going to use as much of that wood as I can. I'll bring this around this just a little bit. Now one of the things I could have done, it's up to you too, I can probably put it on this one to make it different. This in here, that's a, don't mind that little screw up I did there, I, I goofed up there, it's the best I can do. Anyways, this thing would have a, um, what do you call it, a little stem, and I probably should have put the stem or maybe the hand around the stem, you can do that. But uh, this, I don't know if I mentioned, this is going to be one of our uh, projects this year at our one of our clubs and I was trying to make it as simple as possible but you can make it as more complex as you want we'll see if we got enough I'm trying to think with the lid we can probably have that I think we might we, I'll do that let me again pencil this in if I don't pencil it in I won't remember so it goes around here. But maybe I should shape the lid of the pumpkin first. Jack-o-lantern rather. Remember it's going to be kind of a cone shape kind of a thing. So therefore I can come down and I'll come back later to shape. It to exactly the way it's supposed to. You take away a little bit of the hand. Do some stop cups where the hand will be so I'll get more hand. Yeah, that was kind of a funny thing. He just popping out of the jack o' lantern, and in order to pop it out, he's got to grab a hold of the lid to which he is popping out thereof. It's 
starting to shape up. I'm okay with this hand being screwed up, or not screwed up, but, uh, well, let's, let's do a little bit of it. Just, I'll just thin it a little bit more. Because this, this one is easier. Now what I do with all of my carvings, uh, whether it's character or realism or trying to be as realistic, is if I do the hands, I do one hand, and or maybe I do both kind of at the same time, but you'll notice that one hand is getting smaller than the other, and that's what you stop, right? So that stop. You take that smaller hand and you shape it exactly the way you want it to be shaped, and then you take the bigger hand and shape it according to the little hand. And so we still have quite a bit here for both hands. See, now this is a littler hand. There. And of course there'll be more shaping later right now. I just want to get the wood off. And you may want to put, if you want to, put the, or if you haven't already, put the center line in. Okay, what I am going to do is just cut this in here a little bit. I think that's still, oh, no, that's not right. Well, you know what, I'm going to leave this alone right here until I'm done with the pumpkin to know jack o if I need to shrink this, and if I shrink this, then... Because the way I have it right now is you'll see it's kind of short on this side and long on the other, and... Well, you know, because sometimes the stem may bend that way, but... Before I go to the pumpkin, I just want to shape the body. Come here. Just a little bit to give this... A little bit of just to give him the curve on the body, not just the, the wisp, 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 wisp. There we go. He's kind of a, I think I cut out a little more wood than I needed. Probably put a backpack on him if you want to, and it goes with the backpack. Well, it's the best I can think of. And I don't want to get too close here, because the thing I'm going to go different here, I'm still trying to figure out how, what to do about the nose, or should I just either leave it like I've got it here, on the pumpkin, on the, on the ghost, or just a little bit of nose, just a little, or you can make it so he's got a big nose, a big, huge nose, you can do that too. But we're not working on that now. I want to leave the back for room. See, I lost myself here. I was doing this is what I was doing here. Because I'm starting to whisk, whisk, wisp the back a little bit here. We did a little bit of prying there, and I'll undo that. Do some scooping, or take your chisel. All right, for now, we're kind of okay for now. I'm sure we'll come back. And the, the hand, the arms, I'm going to have to come back a little light. I want to go, I'll write it down so I don't forget. I want to bring this in a little, little bit more. See, where am I? Am I getting too far off? Still can see. Okay, that's what I'm going to do, is I want to take my glove and do... Shape this pumpkin. jack o I keep forgetting. jack o jack o where am I here? Now, you can just round it any way you want. I like to round it so it's kind of almost like a... Kind of a teardrop. I think that's what the um, today's art artist or artistic, if you look, you know, or 